And tea, I want to say. And then, of course. Hello, my friends. Here I go again. Another beautiful Wednesday in beautiful paradise, Florida. The day was magnificent today. Yesterday was a little cloudy, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I have new guests tonight. They've never been here before. I want to introduce it to you. First, I'm going to say Chin Chin to you. Can you please come this way, please? And say your names. So all my viewers, they say, come to Sarah House. <laughs> Hello, please. I'm Jennifer. First time she's here for the cooking show and hope she can learn some method that I do. You know how I cook, one, two, three, done. <laughs> and what is your name? Hi, I'm Patty. This, my name's Nina. Come here. Hi, and I'm Nina. Hi, warm come to my house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here I go. I'm going to start. What, what are we making tonight, first of all? I'm making a lot of veggies. I have potatoes, asparagus, carrots, green beans, and zucchini that I'm going to uh, saute like a roasting in a roasting pan. So, but before I do that, I want to start with my chicken. <laughs> because I'm going to make chicken crispy chicken, right? And I want you to come here because I want people to see what I do to the chicken. I know it's the sink, don't look at it. <laughs> it's clean, but this is how everybody asks me, what do you do to the chicken? I want you to take this, because I want them to see the amount of vinegar that I use. Mm. I did it before, but I want to see it again because this is what you do. If you want to cut all the fat come out, and also, you tenderize it, and it takes any bacteria the poultry carries. That's right. Believe me, when you buy in the store, bring it, wash it right away, put it in vinegar. This is what I do. And you wash it. And you don't even have to do too much See, this is already all the blood came out. Mm -hmm. But this is what you do. Every, all my f viewers, they so ask good. me how much vinegar. And you do, yeah, I've been soaking it for like 15 minutes or three hours. It's OK. The longer, the better. So this is what I do. Then, of course, this is clean. I will put it there. And of course, this is going to be put in the dishwasher because you don't want to contaminate, uh, what do you call it, the whole chicken. But this is just for us, for right now. And that's what you do. Rosa Marie is watching, Kathy Vitale is watching, Susan is watching. Hello. Hi everybody, did you see how I do the chicken now? No question. <laughs> uh, do you guys don't like the skin? Oh no, that's fine. Okay, because it's nice and crispy chicken, we call it tonight. Mm -hmm. So I gotta cook it with that. And then you can pull it apart when we eat it. I got a question for you. Yes. When you do leave the skin on, yeah. does the flavor of the spice get into underneath? Oh yes. It does. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you. Okay. No rush tonight. If all my friends, they want to stay on, it's going to be a long shot tonight. <laughs> and then you see what I'm doing, okay? Maria Charla says, hello, Sarah, and guests. Susan De Clerico says, I always put vinegar. Good. You see, a lot of people know about it. I've been talking about... I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I've been talking about... I watched my tour of them. All my life. All my life. All my friends know. But a lot of people, they do not know why we... Vinegar, well, once you eat the chicken with the vinegar like this, then you wash it, you're going to see the difference. Yeah, okay. Okay. You will never do it any other way. Hello, Australia. Who is there? Hello, Australia. Vera de Jesus or Jesus <laughs> from Australia. Hi. And everyone says you look beautiful tonight. Thank you. I washed my hair and I took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and I put lipstick on. Hi from Denmark. Denmark, first time. 
How do I see you come and see you f live in Cape Coral? Well, you can go on our meetup group. You can find the Unexpected Kitchen under the meetup group. We post our events now on Facebook under the Unexpected Kitchen as well. Or you can just go on the website and make an appointment. And call us. I think our phone number is there. Yes. Okay, a little bit of salt, pink salt. Not too much. Here I'm going to use my hands. You need to. Because like I say, I'm not going to use too much. Because the vinegar, it's already... Um, what can I say? It's already give them enough salt. Now, here is the spices. I will say, in Italian, we say abundante. You know what abundante means? A lot. A lot. Sarah, what is your favorite spice in your dry spice rum? Really, it's uh, rosemary. The fresh rosemary the and the fresh basil and also the oregano. I cannot live without those three spices. And where can you get those spices? Come on, on my website. Come yes, on. for those knows that. Well, for those who are new, you can go to oh, www.theunexpectedkitchen.com under products and you'll see all of her stuff there and we add stuff all the time. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start putting some of my oil. It took me forever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pour some here. Not too much. I touch it like that because I don't want to touch the bottle. I'm really weird when it comes to the chicken and my hands. But I still need to use my hands, so. Is there a specific kind of chicken you get? Is it free range? Is it? This is just regular pie, chicken pie. I did not buy, I could not find. You know, every time I go shopping and I decide this at the last moment, I could not find the organic. Sometimes I buy the whole chicken, but then I, you only have two pie. I need a six mm -hmm. for us tonight. But you can use any one you like. Do you have it on high or do you have it on low? I have it right now on 12. You're welcome to come and see. Because you see how much yeah. all the spices are there. You better cook quickly. Because you need to sweep that, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. Yeah, the there we go. Let me wash. Spices, you know, the oregano, the yeah, I have more. They are 28 oh, okay. different spices on that. Yeah. So that comes in one. It comes in those packets. Oh, okay. See how it is? Oh, okay. Mm. All organic, dried by me. Mm. Really? Dried on spice? I know. I'm going to tell you, once you taste them, oh, it smells terrific. And it's not drums. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be wow. with them. It elevates every dish. You can just have vegetables, but once you have those spices on it, it elevates the flavor. Sarah, what do you love about this dish? Uh, the crispness, the flavors. So, so easy to make for a family dinner, friends. Okay, here we go again.
Amazing technique, keep it coming. Excellent presentation. I can smell the oregano from New York, says Maria Vitali. <laughs> yeah, did you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you already ordered it, that's why. And Michelle Holden says those spices are the best. Did you order it before? I'm pretty sure you did. And Bonnie Owing says, is that Jennifer Benson? It sure is. <laughs> Who is that? Bonnie, oh. Bonnie Owings. She's the one that told me. Oh, oh wow. thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Bonnie. You're gonna come over. Come over, I wanna meet you. <laughs> we can cook together. Angela Verano asks, do you keep the skin on for more flavor? Yes, and I like the crispiness, okay? All the fat come out in when you wash it with the vinegar and you sip it, because all the googie stuff comes out. That's why I'm doing it. So the skin is gonna be nice and crispy. Let it cook slowly and then I'm gonna get into uh, my other, what do you call it? My other plate. Hello Westbrook, Connecticut. Hello Carol. Okay, we're gonna do veggie. Now we're gonna do the veggie. Excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my veggie. You can cut it anywhere you like it. Long, I like size. Like this, like about half inch. See? Do you like that aroma? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's good. So I'm going to put it in here, uh, these are all clean, they are really small, you can leave it whole. Now the potatoes, I pre-cook that for 5 minutes in the microwave, because when you eat the potato like this, every time you do a barbecue, you're going to love this method, okay? My friends, they go crazy, and it's so simple to do. So you keep the skin on, of course, you brush it and clean it the way you like. Olivia yeah. Ventura says, you ladies look familiar. Oh, that's your sister and my eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I do like this. And then, of course, I cut a little bit at the end. You don't want the end. Carol is asking, what's in your spices? Um, 28 different spices. It takes me an hour to tell you. It. But it's my recipe, so if you like to taste them, you're gonna order on my website. <laughs> First time I said that. <laughs> or use your own spice and make your own mishmash. Concoction. Concoction. <laughs> there you go. Experiment. When you cook, you gotta experiment. If you do an experiment, you never know how something, you know, you see the potato? Mm -hmm. it's very good. Joanne Ganella says, Sarah, you look beautiful. My hair is running up. <laughs> my sister I Diana. My, hair. my sister Diana is watching. Hello, sister. Hello. You see me, I don't see you. It's not fair. <laughs> You should do, what do you call it, FaceTime or Zoom. Okay, I'm going to throw this out. You don't need those. Okay, so how I do this now, you're going to see me. Now let me check my chicken. Oh, not yet, but almost. See, you don't want to turn it till it's perfect. Because then it cooks less in the oven. Abundante, as we say. Does your sister love to cook like you, Sarah, says Angela? My sister? Yeah, better than me. <laughs> you know. Celeste says oh, you look beautiful. Young, 
she never liked to cook. But then she turned out to be almost a chef. Mm -hmm. So where are you from? But Calabria. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, his sisters, you know how it goes. My niece is better than yours and blah, blah, blah. I let her win all the time because she's my little one. <laughs> My little sister cooks better than me. Yeah, but she, you know, I'm more simple. She can get into a lot of, like she loves to bake. I don't bake. I do not bake. It's good. Just a, coat it with a little bit of oil, not too much. Mm -hmm. See, very little. You want me to show you? You want to come over here? You're welcome. Is that just plain olive oil? Uh, right now, yes. This okay. one is my olive oil extra virgin first press. Okay. Right. No salt, no nothing. So what I'm going to do now is I need to put a little salt here. Not too much. It's pink Himalayan salt, which is Sarah's favorite salt to use. Yes. If you're going to use salt, you better use the better one. Or the other one. The white from uh, the Mediterranean. Okay. Just very little. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So we're done with this. Let me see here. Here's my hand. And then I will need it. Yeah, you see now? What? You see the color? That's the color you want. It's a Himalayan pink sea salt. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Oh my God, that looks delicious. Yeah, and then of course, you can pass it. It's not yet ready yet. Now we gotta do another. How long do we have that? Five minutes? Yeah. So you need the stuff? Yeah. And then, if I make the other stuff, because you're gonna watch. He cooks in the oven to make sure it's not better. And I could use, sometimes I would use like a little bit of uh, white wine if you want. Oh, okay. Or just play like that with those, with those uh, flavors. So your fans are asking you, yes. do you cook the whole asparagus and why don't you break it? Because I don't like to break it. What do you mean? I did clean that. You cleaned it, but some yeah. people snap it in half. No, it doesn't look pretty. You got to show. You know, why did I cut the green beans? It's like you buy them in the can. It's all about presentation of food. If you're going to go through all of these problems, to buy it at the store fresh and prepare it, why would you chop it? When you put it in the plate, it looks so beautiful and it's going to taste better because it looks better. Yeah. It your eyes first. Yeah, no, I'm going to show you how when all of this is going to, even with the carrots, mm -hmm. I peel it and I cut it long. Oh, because we are on the I want to smell them. Yeah. These are not regular. Okay. So I want it to look beautiful, but it's me. Maybe because I'm a dress designer and I like to design food. We must love to one. I'm gonna put it in here.
Okay, so I guess I can leave that there. So we're going to go right, right there. Let me check it. I want to see that same color, the golden crispy, mm -hmm. before it goes into this, and we're going to put it in the oven. And then it's going to be with my rosemary. Fresh rosemary from my garden. I mean, I could put it in there too. Then we pour it in there and we go it into the oven. So, I want to, this is going to be my, okay. Let me reach my hand. I want to make it come out with the oven for us. Ladies, what do you think so far? Dawn Dawn Riddle says hello. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Jan Daniel says, I try, but I just can't grow rosemary. Do you have any tips? Jan Daniels? She cannot find rosemary? She can't grow it. Why? In the dirt, it grows like wild. I just put it in there, make sure it has water, you know. I put it next to my water, whatever you call that. You know, it comes three times a week oh. when you water the grass. And it's perfect. Okay, I'm going to, I don't like my red light. I love this light. I love this. Yeah. You like me. Look at how beautiful they are. Fresh. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to hear you because of the sizzling oh, of the I'm chicken. Okay. Let's finish with this. She goes, look, you want to come here? Look at that. That's what you want. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to pull all of this in. Jan says it doesn't do well for me in Missouri. I can't That's mint. Okay. She can grow mint, just not rosemary. Wow. It's all oil. So I need to put it in there because it's going to go in there. Okay. Um, okay. Now I'm going to put the rosemary. So why do you put the rosemary on the bottom? Because it's a cook's Infuse the chicken. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I will put a little bit of black pepper. But now I'm going to turn. Because I like the crispiness to be in top. You know, so. It looks amazing. It looks good, huh? 
Yeah, it smells even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I want to cut a little tiny piece if we have time. We are not running late, are we? No. Excuse me. Because it's already almost, this one is ready here. Do you keep a consistent heat with an electric stove? Yes. I never moved it. It was on 15, the maximum. See, I want... No blood. Ah, okay. I want to spoil you. I want you to see <laughs> the flavors. Mm. This is the one. I know I'm not giving Thank you too you. much, but you tell me. Mmm. Wow. wow. It's delicious. Not too much salt, right? No. Mm -hmm. The chicken's right. so flavorful. I oh, know. That's wow. what I want to hear. Really See, and really I didn't good. put no lemon. I did not use no wine. And I'm going to cook it plain like this with the rosemary. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Really good. I'm going to put them in the oven. Deborah says, I hope you're making gravy with all that goodness on the bottom of the pan. <laughs> <laughs> no. I usually dump it in the sink. And I know I should because it's oil, I flavor the chicken that I cook with, I'm not gonna make no gravy. Because it's not turkey. Mm -hmm. I only make gravy if I make turkey. Right. Maybe because I'm Italian, I don't know guys. <laughs> but the gravy, not it's good, needs. but you know, right. it's chicken chicken needs gravy. You look at me, I'm getting fat because of that focaccia. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop making it. But anyway, so I'm going to make this and then I go to the veggie. Because this is a new, you know, you know, there is so many different bruschetta. I do the hot bruschetta. I do the one with the aloe. Mm -hmm. This, I wanted to make something really different tonight. These are no good because it's the end. I don't throw it away. I put them on the soup. Yeah, sure. And then... Um, I'm gonna put this here because I like decoration. I don't know why, but I do. And it's so simple to do. Just to need a little extra time. And then with this, I'm going to do something crazy. I think we're gonna put the leaf there. What do you think? Good idea? Yes. Okay. Use your imagination when you cook. Nobody wrote a book about how it need to be done. And I know a lot of chefs, they go to school to learn all those difficult things that me, I'm never gonna learn. <laughs> so here I have some great ricotta. I usually put mozzarella. I wanna create something different. I'm putting the basil into the ricotta. Mm. Now here I need a little salt. Because it doesn't have it. I'm going to just sprinkle, just very little, not too much. I mean, you see the salt like nothing. Mm -hmm. Don't go with a lot of stuff. And I'm going to do this. I want the basil in there. And of course you can put black olives if you want, capers. Let your imagination go wild. I'm putting, I'm using the plain olive oil. And look at how green it is. Mm. I'm gonna let you taste it before we sit for dinner. Fern says you're my kind of girl. Who? Fern. Hi Fern. <laughs> but yeah, use your imagination. When you are in your kitchen, see, I touch my hair, uh -huh. I can't. Um, when you are in your kitchen, you're the queen. You can mm -hmm. do anything you like. And if your husband, he will appreciate you. Because he starts smelling all those aromas. That's my husband, that's what he used to do. What, nine o'clock in the morning, what are we gonna eat tonight? That's it. <laughs> Leave me alone, wait until five. <laughs> I know, this hair, I gotta put a pin on it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, my hands are clean. I'm going to 
do that, see? And you can be better than me. But when you eat this, you don't even need a fork. So this is a bruschetta without the well, without the so. no without the bread, right? Without the bread, exactly. It's a healthier version. Well, you know, vegan or whatever you want to call it. It's for everybody. For brunch, for lunch, before dinner. Eleven o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In Rome, at twelve o'clock, when they're hungry, they make spaghetti taglioni. Mm -hmm. All of them in my country. There we go. It's ready. So I'm going to put this over here. And then when we sit down, we can have it or we can have it now. Whatever you like. Oh, we can wait. You want to wait? Mm -hmm. Okay, my hands are clean again. I cannot count how many times. Now I gotta really clean myself. Otherwise, it will not go on. Hello, Gloria. Hi, Jane Centrella. Carrie is watching. Hello. I never had to do with my old stuff. Now, with my new stuff, I have to do this. Otherwise, it will not turn on. It has all the Wow. Safety feature, you will not go on if it's not perfect, clean. All right, let me see, maybe it will go on. Oops, he did. Ha <laughs> ha. Such a lucky woman. Can you smell that chicken? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Now we're going to prepare the we're going to prepare the, um, maybe I should make the, should I make the salad first? Sure. I want to spoil you tonight. I usually <laughs> do one thing, but tonight I'm going to show you. What do we have? One, two, three, four. I'll give you a five-course meal. Oh, wow. That's the Italian way, isn't it? <laughs> well, not all the time. <laughs> for special occasions. Yes. Yeah. For you ladies. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. I hope you like the flavors. Yeah. It smells good. I'm sure we will. Okay. And then, of course, we can finish with a little bit of... Hold on, I forgot. I did not forget. I did not get it done. We could do a little bit of balsamic mm -hmm. or my dressing, but tonight I'm gonna do this. Like this. If it comes out. If you like this stuff, I love it. And you can play with it to make you can make a design if you like. Be a painter. <laughs> See, look at how pretty it looks. See that? Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go with my salad. You can move this. Well. I did wash my. What happened? It's okay. Okay, anybody there? Yes, yes, there's um, Serena Bitar says beautiful. Theresa is watching. Elaine Nicosto is watching. Joelle Christine is watching. Chin Chin, my friends. I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble a salad. You can chop it and mix it like this, but Sarah like to make it look attractive. 
I'm gonna put a pretty dress on. <laughs> you wanna what? I mean, can you see me? Oh, yeah, yeah, or you see. want me to move this? No, no, no perfect. perfect. Okay. You're okay. So I have romaine ready washed. I wash everything on um, baking soda. No. Okay. All my lettuce, all my fruits. So I wash it and I dry it. So I'm gonna start. Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. Endive, isn't it? No. No. But it's radicchio. Radicchio. So I took yeah. big leaves. Sometimes it's smaller, but this is what I got. So I'm gonna start from the middle. Then I'm gonna do this. I can put a couple in here if you like. Uh, you can do it like this. Use your pretty imagination. I mean, I know a lot of people say, I don't have any time to do this, but, or you could just go like that and use your lettuce first. You see the different colors? Mm -hmm. How you will pick up and become something nice. Of course, we could cut it smaller if we want. You know, and then I could put this one in there. Couple of. Hello, Susan from Long Island, New York. Susan Tentacosta. Michelle Holden says, Chin Chin. Hello, mm -hmm. Michelle. Thank and you. Peggy Moran says, Love your cooking ideas. Thank you. Okay, what else we have? We still, we continue mixing our salad together. Did you eat a lot of salad as a child? Me? Growing up? We let us, only when we grew it, because in Italy everything it's when it grows, like broccoli, like the green peas in May, the fava bean, May. Then uh, broccoli, like a towards the end of the summer, it's like a winter lettuce. When we don't have, like here, you go to the store and you buy right. all of this. We go, we, our food is by season. Yes, we did have lettuce, especially this, the romaine. We never had the big lettuce. No, the, what do you call I, the American one? Burn. Yeah, we don't have them. That's good. Now it is, but because they import, but otherwise we don't. Yeah, no flavor. Yeah. But it's good for some things. Giovanni Do Donato is watching. Oh. Love you, Giovanni Di Donato. Really? Yes. It's almost like my father name, Donato. Hello. And Donna Moffat says she loves your live shows. Thank you. Okay, so do you know what this is? The, the dandelion? Yeah, mm -hmm. organic. Okay. But even so, I wash it. I wanted you to taste how good it is for you. I eat it three, four times a day. Wow. And when I boil them, I will, the juice, I drink the juice. Mm -hmm. And I never take medication of any kind. Wow. I've been doing this all my life. So this is my food. My husband used to say, you are rabbit. <laughs> because you eat grass. <laughs> That's what he used to say to me. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. You see, how, do you like this? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. OK, so now we can put little tomatoes in there, if you have any, or go like that. And I mean, I love relish. It's so good for you. We can put it there. Terry's watching from New Jersey. She says she loves your live shows. Thank you. I'm glad you watched. And then you do like, you know, just put it there. Look at how pretty it looks. Come on. Right? Let's I'm going to have a little relish. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think this is pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. So it says, eat me, eat me, manja, <laughs> manja. That's right. OK, we're going to put this over there. Palmy says, hi, Sarah, the arugula, it's good with cavatelli. Oh, yes, of course. I do it. And Gina's watching from Southern California. She says it looks delicious. Hi, Gina. I'm going to go to my veggie now. 
Now, Wenji are my passion, as much as the pasta, the bugatti, and, and all of that good stuff. But Wenji, it's like, I can eat Wenji every day. Let me see if I can turn this one up a little bit. There, I put a 14. So you need this to be nice and hot. Let me check my chicken. And see how we're doing. Light. Okay. Look at. See, it cooks slowly, but we want it to cook it like that. You know, now when it turns it over. And it doesn't lose its crispiness. No, come, come, please. I want you to really learn this so you watch the whole thing, so you know what to expect. See, look, look. Watch, I, my hands are clean. Look at how crispy. Oh yeah. You see that? Mm. That looks so good. Mmm. You see how crispy that works? Yeah. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Yeah. And now, at the last moment, I'm gonna put it higher. Like five minutes before we eat, I'm gonna raise it. Okay. So this is for my chicken. I need a new spatula. Oh, here it is. This is my veggie. gotta be really hot, okay? Yeah, and we do, these procedures is the same as the chicken. You know, you got to, not to move it. Right. When it's nice and like barbecue, then we turn it up. Let me try. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Do I have that one here? Yeah. I'm gonna do first to the zucchini and the potatoes. Did you put any oil on the pan or you just let no, it? No, I, no pan oil, just on the greens. See, a, can you see a little bit oil? Very little? Mm -hmm. You wanna coat it with a little bit of oil, not too much. You don't wanna soak all the oil in, even if it's good for you. But I'm going to do the potatoes first and then... Maria asked, did she pre-cook the potatoes? I did it in the micro for five minutes. Yes. And why because, did you do that? Because once you see how they are, you cannot cook the potatoes this fast like this. You need to. And even this one you can put it on your barbecue when you barbecue a steak. I used to do that in Chicago and they loved it. My, all my friends and family. You really should keep this recipe. You will thank me when you eat. Quick. And you're gonna see how beautiful they're gonna be. This is my biggest pen. I hope it fits all of it. Maybe I cook too much. It's always, <laughs> I always cook too much. Italian, we always think that somebody's gonna stop by. Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> and usually they do. Usually, somebody stopped by. I'm expecting. Okay. So, I think this is good. I don't want those. And then we're going to have 
all of them. I lost one. Yeah, just to stay there, I'm gonna wash this. Making you guys hungry? Yes. So why did you decide on joining us today? We like to eat. We like to cook. And where are you guys from? Originally from Minnesota. From where? Minnesota. I'm from Rochester, New York. And I'm from Rochester, New York as well. Well, we're glad you joined us. Thank you. And you guys found us on Meetup. Is that right? Well, my girlfriend, Bonnie, who said something, she sent it to me saying, oh, she did. on Facebook, saying you should do this. And so I did. And, and you jumped on. And she me. So we should do this. And then you told I'm your niece. <laughs> I need to learn how to cook. I'm not the best, so... This is helping. Next time, Good. you tell me what you want to learn. Ooh, okay. I do pelvis. Oh, okay. I need all the practice I can get. Hey, how long are you going to be here? I'm going to be here for another week. You see that? Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Without moving it. Not too much oil. Right, so some people want to flip it all the time, back and forth, no. and you recommend just no. leaving See? it. No, put it back. If you want it nice and crispy, okay? Mm -hmm. I needed a bigger stove, that's industrial, but <laughs> this house, they, you cannot have gas. So I adjust, and it's okay, I've been doing okay. Sarah, do you have a favorite childhood memory cooking? Oh God, yes. When I was nine, after my mom died, potatoes and onions, it's the only thing we had in the kitchen. Nothing else. And a little, you know, those baskets on the floor. Yeah, and uh, the oven, <laughs> we didn't have oven. We had like a tree pad on the corner here. Tree pad, tree pad. Mm -hmm. And then the fry pan. We had oil, yes we did. In salt, it was gray in a mortar, like in this. Mm -hmm. That's how the salt was. And you had to break it, because it was like a big piece of stone. Mm -hmm. And I made potatoes, and that's all we had. And I think that's when I started cooking, because I had to think my brain, mm -hmm. how can I make potatoes and onions tomorrow in a different way. look. Mm -hmm. So one day I boil it, another day I fry it, another day I put them on the uh, fire, on the ashes, so they cook like they will be in the oven. Mm -hmm. That's how I start. Mm -hmm. And I still love it. Mm -hmm. Then I had to do it, not by choice, by necessity. Today I'm doing it because I love it. Mm -hmm. And Sarah, you have a lot of recipes. Are you planning on doing a cookbook soon? It's gonna come out by the end of Friday. Friday. What do you call that? Black Friday. Black Friday. Ooh. And if I don't do this, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. And all of you, you can pre-buy it, pre-order it. Because it's gonna be there. It's gonna be there. I promise you. Because I've been talking about it, and never is that done, but this time it will. <laughs> Here is my potatoes. Look. You see that? 
Don't turn them too soon. Okay. I think I'm gonna use a fork because I don't want to ruin my beautiful pot. So can you explain that? If you can you explain what you just said? Uh, I'm using the fork because with this I'm afraid I like to use this somehow. I love it. But I don't wanna keep punching my scratching my, the pan. My pan. So I'm yes. using it the fork so I can turn it. You see, it turns easy without damaging. Because this pot has been with me for 30 years. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ruin that. Just because I decide to do this potato. <laughs> but this is the only way. Genevieve, we'll let you know how to order the book. We'll put something up on the website. Uh, just look for something in the next couple weeks. Only easy recipes that you can enjoy. I wish I had a bigger, bigger stove, bigger, bigger, but no bigger. When you cook, you gotta love it, really. You might take forever, but when you finish and you put them in a plate and all your friends gonna love it and no leftovers, then you say, it was worth that. It was worth it. That's me, anyway. I, I, this, to me, it's like going out for dancing. Mm. <laughs> it's what I, I love to do this. I'm crazy, right? No, I'm crazy. Crazy woman, crazy woman. No, no. Andrew Miller is watching. Who? Andrew Miller. He's Hi, introducing Andrew. himself. And then Kathy Fix and the gang from Alaska, loving oh, you. How about you? The gang. I love when she said the game. <laughs> she has a lot of people watching. Hello. I wish you can come and visit. Bernadine Tannen is watching. So many people. I love you all. You keep me young. You know that. Because I know you want me to be here. So nice. I'm such a lucky old woman. You keep me young. <laughs> Okay, so look it. This is ready, so I'm taking it out. Because I like my veggie not to be overcooked. What about you guys? How do you like them? Mushy? Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. I'm going to put just a little bit extra oil, very little. So when you do this, then it means you're going to speed it, make it a little quicker. Mm. Sam Asuda says, Patty's husband, son, and daughter-in-law are watching. Oh, oh. oh Patty's, your yes. Your uh, my See, next time, bring them over. Mm -hmm. in North <laughs> uh, Judy Emmanuel says, hi, Sarah. We know you can cook. How about showing us your sewing creations? Love your videos. Yes. I have so many brides. Okay, I'm gonna put the potatoes here. My zucchini. Gina Terman says, we love you, Sarah, with six different color hearts. <laughs> Thank you. you. Wanna say hi to your family? Hi. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Okay, I'm getting there, but look, you see my, how this doesn't work with me. The potatoes are great, but you see, it doesn't go. 
Hi, Will. See, next, I gotta get away so the stove stays on. I <laughs> said, there is gonna be safe because maybe she can read that I'm old. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I just bought this. Oh, oh wow. Two thousand dollars. Yeah, it's at some some sign. Mm. Two thousand dollars. Wow. And if I stay close, it shuts off. <laughs> and if you touch, God forbid. Stay away from it. <laughs> oh, really? Deli delicata. Mm -hmm. Delicata. <laughs> Samsung, if wow. you're watching, we can use a new stove, Samsung. Come on, I just bought it two months ago. <laughs> can I have another one, please? <laughs> Who she's not afraid of me. <laughs> I need to cook, I need to touch. I, I mean, come on, guys. I don't know how. I think maybe I should really put the other one on. You know? Why not? It's still in my garage. I did not throw it away. Mm. There was nothing wrong with it. I thought this would be quicker, better. Okay, this one is ready. I'm gonna check my my chicken. You know, you cannot forget about your food. Mm -hmm. We don't wanna burn it. I think it's doing great. See? Perfect. Okay, I'm almost done with this. We put the asparagus. And then we are making myself. We could have eight people for dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maria Casabara says, Hi, Sarah, we love you. Keep teaching us. Thanks and have a great evening with your beautiful friends. I'm never going to quit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be very quick. I like my carrots to be there. These are all organic. Put my asparagus. Rose Gallus says, Hi, Sarah. Remember the potatoes cooked under the ashes? My mom in Calabria, she was cooking the same way. In Calabria, yes. Of course, we did not have all of these fancy stoves mm -hmm. <laughs> that they don't know how to cook. They were better. Oh, and the best it was when at nine years old, we didn't have any wood inside the house. Me and my brother and my little sister, we had to go outside into the, where they have trees and pick up those little branches mm. and go and wow. do that. That was the fun. Mm -hmm. Sarah, how long have you been here? I've been here in this country since 1955, February. Okay. Do you go back often? Uh, before COVID, yes. Almost every year, for 55 years. Which is a good lead-in. COVID, but now, next year, I'm so happy that you remind me of that because I'm pretty sure you don't know. For the past two years, I was trying to put a group. A lot of my fans, they say, oh, Sarah, when you go next time to Italy, please, let's do a, a group. And I said, yes, yes, yes. Finally, I made up my mind, next year, 24, year 2024, I'm gonna do two trips, June and September. Anybody who's interested, please send me your email so I can get in touch with you and I will let you know the price. I'm trying right now to get the best price possible because I want you to enjoy it and not get broke down. Mm -hmm. You know, I, wanna, I want real people to go with me mm -hmm. and to go frugal, not the other way. Because <laughs> I'm a frugal person. I don't like to spend thousands of dollars. Do, do I make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spend so your what, money on good food and good produce. But and what product. I want to show is, 
like go to the farm, pick up the fresh veggies, go to the place and us cooking, cooking together. That's what I want to do. It's what I'm trying to get, but I will get there. And what part of uh, Italy are you going to plan on going to? South Calabria, of course, my, my part. And also one trip it will be in Sardinia. <gasps> and, and I'm thinking about seven days to do, to do this. I want to go to Veneto in Italy. A lot of you know where they make this wine. This oh. is the most delicious wine. Amarone. It's in my heart. Mm. And I will go to the vineyards. I'm already arranging that. It's almost all done. And we have a restaurant kitchen that we can cook anything we like. Mm. Right. So I'm working on it. I've been working. She can, Belle, would you please tell our people how, how hard we've been do, to do the recipe, to do all of this? It's been non-stop. There's always something to do. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm not 15 anymore. <laughs> my legs sometimes been uh, up all day on my feet. Yep. And we can use your support. So you can go like, follow, and share Sarah's videos on Instagram, YouTube, and of course on Facebook. We appreciate all of the support, especially on Instagram, if you can help us grow the following. The more people, the better it will be. So I can continue doing this. Yes. Okay, this is almost done. I'm gonna let it here. It's a few moments. I'm gonna put that so we can I want to show you the whole thing. Look at this. Still juicy. You want your chicken to be juicy and no blood. <laughs> no blood. We don't want blood. We never. I never, never. Okay. So I think I will stop. Then with my. Okay, now I'll touch that with the baby, so I need to put it back on. Okay. Connie Hack Hachey, sorry Connie if I messed up your last name, says hello, nice to see you all, just got home from work. Here we go. Mary Sanchez, we see you watching. Deborah Hume, we see you watching. Sylvia, welcome. By the way, uh, to all my viewers, this is my new manager. She's going to be with me writing, uh, help me write the book and cook with me so I can get faster. Her name is Dale. Say hello to her, please. Hello, everyone. I look forward to spending time with Sarah. It's already been an amazing trip. She really surprises me. She's in her, can I tell them your age? They, everybody knows my age. She's, she's in her 80s, and I'm so surprised at how active she is and how healthy she is. So we look forward to her cookbook coming out. I'm 81. I'm 81. Next year, on uh, the trip to Italy, I'm going to be 82. 
and I have my older sister, she's 95, and she just like me. Do you see what I'm doing there? Now, what is my guidance? Michael Holden, you got the name right. Hello, everyone. Watch the smell now. Okay, and uh, my dress here, I'm going to come right now in a few moments. And so what's in your, is it your salad dressing? Yeah, my salad dressing. And so what, what's in your salad dressing that you really enjoy in that? Uh, the balsamic vinegar. I use the lighter, not the dark. But here, I'm going to put the dark. If I can open it. Yeah. Okay. Right, right now. I didn't put too much salt at all, so. Okay. Alright, done. Does that smell? Oh, mm. that mm. yeah. Mm. Now I'm going to pour it over and then wait. If I can get to it. Turn this stove off. Goodbye, stove. <laughs> Goodbye, so. Okay, because this is so big for me, I cannot handle that. You know, I cannot. So is the garlic soft or? Yeah, it's soft. Okay. You want to come over, please. Come. So you can see it's, it's uh, what do you call it? Pink. It's not burned because you cannot burn the garlic. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Good color? Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Oh, that was so good. Oh, wait. <laughs> see, let me see. So, see. We got to put it there. Okay, I'm not a chef, but I'm a, what do you call it, an improviser? <laughs> like a comedian. You're a very good I'm cook. a comedian with food. You're a very good cook. <laughs> because I did not know I was going to do this, guys. <laughs> I was going to go with the other, with my other dressing already made, but mm. I thought, let me go here. Okay. I thought, okay, this would sound good. Don't forget about presentation. Okay, so this one is here. Look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna do my chicken. My chicken is ready. Can you smell it? It's almost perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did I do with the other one? You can find Sarah's products and help support her on the unexpectedkitchen.com. We'll be adding more products over some time. You guys gotta come here and smell this. We can smell it from here. <laughs> well, if you put the house right over, oh my God. sometimes I get fooled by doing that. By just doing that. Okay, so I think. So you turned it up um, a little yeah. higher the last yeah. minute? Yeah. Okay. That's five minutes. Okay. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. You're huh? Right, you're right. Do you think it's cooked? Should I we cut? Oh that my looks beautiful. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if it's pink inside? Oh well, I don't God. think it will be. I would be no. dead. No, <laughs> I don't think so, Sarah. No. Wow. But you know what? I mean, oh, we are so who sad. we are. I'm in my house. I can do whatever I want, <laughs> and I'm gonna cut it. 
Nobody can rush me. No. But look at the tenderness. Look. Wow. You see, when you cook it that way, look. Oh, it's no perfect. pink. No pink. Because there is nothing worse than you don't cook the chicken That's enough. Right. Mm -hmm. It looks it's very moist, be, too. But it's moist and it's tender right. mm -hmm. because of the vinegar and the way we prepare it. Right. Skin down, crispy, and now we know we can eat this. Mm -hmm. We know damaging. Wow. Now, a lot of people will soak this. You can make gravy, a lot of you. Mm. Where's your focaccia? Yeah. I want to just put it I'm there. going to. I'm going to warm it up. I'm going to put some mm. into the... But we have to say goodbye to our friend. Okay. Because tonight has been a long, long... Yeah, you can do this. I can put this in a... I can put it right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then I can put some... Uh, Focaccia in the oven so it's nice and warm for you. Mm. Let me see if I can get this. I don't want to... Hello, Hi. Texas. Hello, Cheryl Smith from Texas. Look Coming to Bonita soon. Well, look up, look us up on the I Unexpected Kitchen and maybe you join say, us. No, but I like it. No, I, I like no. it that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, but you see what I'm talking about? You do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You don't have to learn to kill one. Right. <laughs> I like that. That's what I do. We are not in oh a God, restaurant. So we are not. Did you see how beautiful? That is beautiful. gorgeous. Oh. And here, you see what? Oh, yeah, yeah tender. You Perfect. see that? And the zucchini. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have this. We have that. Oh, so. Now, let me warm up some. Let me say goodbye to my friend. Because I do have some... Uh, um, extra focaccia that I did yesterday, and I went. These beautiful people who came to see me. <laughs> what can I say? I want them to taste it. Okay. <laughs> Love you. I see you next Wednesday. Ciao, ciao. Chin chin.